Hi everyone, it's Morty from Pelican Pod Travel Vlog. Welcome to our walking exploration of Diagon Alley, King's Cross, and Hogsmeade Village at night. When Disney vloggers go to Universal in Orlando. We were there for a special event that was after hours and we started off our late afternoon at the night's bus in London. Remember to go around the back there's some pretty cool shots inside the bus that shows when Harry first got on the bus. The details like toothbrush holders, trunks, beds, pretty fun and there is an interactive show around the front with the little shrunken head next across the street is the phone booth and we went into Diagon Alley and right away greeted by the Leaky Cauldron and the Weasley Brothers store not even gonna try to say it because I will mess it up like everybody else Let's take a look at some of the merchandise, some of the storefronts, and some of the decor on Diagon Alley. This was an immersive and fun environment. And you really feel like a wizard when you're walking around, even if you're just there as a tourist and not in rooms. A particular note was some of the moving pictures that are found all throughout Diagon Alley. I thought they were an excellent addition. One of the pieces of merch I would absolutely love to buy would be if you could buy a newspaper, The Daily Prophet, that had moving pictures. Take my money. And as I go through, I'll narrate some things of particular interest. I, the whole place is just a wonder. You could spend days and days and days trying to find all the different details. And there's plenty of videos out there that have secrets. But I'm gonna point out a couple of things as real reading fans of the novels that we thought would be interesting. Of which the moving newspaper will do one. So please like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Taking a look at the ceiling where the fireworks constantly and persistently torment Dolores Umbridge. And here we have the expression of a Ravenclaw wizard seeing the wizarding world of Harry Potter for the first time. And I step outside for just a minute and catch the first dragon breath. Make sure you get your green got money. If shopping is your thing, there is no shortage of excellent merchandise throughout the Wizarding World on both the Islands Adventure Park and also in the Universal Studios Park where Diagon Alley is. You can find all the snacks and treats and funny jokes. And there's even little songs coming from the, the puffskins that are everywhere. I got three chocolate frogs, of which I'm about halfway through my stock. And while we did not do the secret spells that are throughout the Wizarding World because of time, we did take a good look inside many of the stores, and we also do experience Coming up shortly, Ollivander's wand experience. Now, I'm not a foodie, so I don't do all of the food reviews, but I did love Butterbeer in every single form. Cold being my, or frozen being my favorite. And then my next favorite item was the shepherd's pie back in Hogsmeade Village. Anyone who knows me knows I'm all about one thing, and that is... Oh 
the upcoming wizard you're about to see. The one, the only, Gilderoy Lockhart. Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League and five-time winner of Wiz Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Just past Professor Lockhart's window, we find the Daily Prophet and then Ollivander's One Experience, which is a show. So be sure to get in that queue line and check this out. It's quite the experience. I'm told through other vloggers that it's almost always kids who are chosen to be the wizard, but afterwards you're let out into the wand shop itself where anyone can help you from the staff at Ollivander's to find the wand that selects you, the wizard. And there's a great selection. Not everything you, you'll find will be there that you may want, but a great selection nonetheless. And just after Ollivander's is Gringotts Bank. And here I get into what I find to be my favorite ride of the entire Diagon Alley side. The queue was amazing and the ride was surprising and fun. Journey to the Forks beneath the Gringotts. 
We'll see you down there. In clear off now. And as soon as we stepped off the ride, dragon fire number two. Now she makes some noises that let you know she's about to breathe fire so you can get your cameras ready. And there's all sorts of different angles to capture this on. Now I didn't include the music, but all throughout Harry Potter Wizarding World, there is Harry Potter music playing. However, due to copyrights, I did not put the music into this video. And also, on very windy days, she will not breathe fire, but we didn't experience this. And one thing I will say, she's loud and exciting. And I really enjoyed this touch. So one does feel the heat of that dragon's breath. Nocturne Alley is an expansive maze, easy to get turned around. Luckily it's not too big, but there are many different Easter eggs hidden throughout Nocturne Alley. And also some more of those moving pictures, Bellatrix, and maybe the darkest character from the Wizarding World's Death Eater side, Fenris Greyback. There's some really interesting sounds that play throughout Nocturne Alley. And I enjoyed walking around in the air conditioned section, just listening to the heat. It was a warm summer June night when I was there. Let's take a look at what the dark wizards are doing. If some of the dark arts are your preferred magics and merchandise, Borgen and Burks has an excellent selection created just for you. And thankfully, the rotting stink of death is not included in your walkthrough.
We finished up shopping through all the skulls and creepy dolls and moving pictures of horrible people. And then we got set to move on over to Hogsmeade Village at night. So I'll let you take a look at the last parts of Nocturne Alley. And then we will get on the Hogwarts Express. I'll see you on the other side. There was another wing back. Yeah, it must be that one. Show me what you found back there. Oops, I forgot one last stop. We went into the Leaky Cauldron and got some meat and some hot butter beer. Then we went on the Hogwarts Express. And though we're not really foodies, we did eat at both Three Broomsticks 
and Leaky Cauldron, and both were very good, authentic British food. So if you are traveling to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I would highly suggest stopping in and trying out some of the fare. And add to that the amazing decor, and it's an experience any wizard or muggle won't want to miss. Let's see if we can get directions to platform nine and three quarters from London. This is platforms 9 and 10 straight ahead at the top of my stairs. Uh -huh. I'm on platforms 9 and 10 upstairs. Okay. Thank you. Is fraction? I've never heard of a fraction of a platform. Thank you. That sounds scary. That's right. You too can disappear. We find it. Hogsmeade Village at night also was the return of the Castle Light Show. I have a separate video. I'll put the link in the details. I don't include the audio here because of copyright. So at this private event, it turned out that the show we saw was not Hogwarts Always. There are videos out there from other vloggers of Hogwarts Always. This was sort of a rare and abbreviated show that is not part of Hogwarts Always, and I thought that was kind of interesting. And we happen to catch most of it stepping off of the Flight of the Hippogriff ride, another ride I thought was underrated from what I had heard from other people. And I really enjoyed Hagrid's section in the queue line. And coming up, we go inside the castle. We take a good hard look at the queue. And maybe we'll talk about a couple of things that seems to be overlooked among other narrations. I hope you enjoy and stick around. Please remember to like and subscribe and let us know what you think of Hogwarts. Did you ride the ride? Will it really make most people sick? And if you haven't done it, you can buy postcards at the Owl Post and they will postmark them from Hogwarts. We did that. And I stood here watching this toy mesmerized for a full few minutes. I just love this thing. Unfortunately, we did not get the ride. Hagrid's ride. The lines were just too long throughout the entire event.
it has not come down under 55 minutes all night. Yes, it is what it is. Sounds like yet another clear violation of the Warlocks Convention of 1709. But then again, with all these muggles running about, perhaps a dragon's just what we need. What a dreadful thing to say, Salazar. A few muggles might be just what the Slytherin team needs, judging from their most recent efforts. Exactly when was the last time your house won the Quidditch Cup, sir? Good. Then maybe they'll leave. If Dumbledore thinks it right and proper that they be here, then they are more than welcome. Perhaps one of our young guests will wait for an hour one morning and find themselves some of the Hogwarts. Yes, just then, the next great witch and wizard could be walking through this room right now, unaware of their hidden talents, just like Harry Potter. Potter! The boy who lived! Boy who survived when the city's fantasy is more like. Ah, uh, but you're wrong, Salazar. It was love that saved young Harry, not luck. Something to remember. Even if you don't ride Harry Potter's adventure in Hogwarts Castle, you absolutely must go through the queue line. The interactions between the portraits, the interactions watching Dumbledore's office, seeing the pensive. Lord Voldemort, the name alone strikes fear in wizards and wizards everywhere. And his hatred of muggles is wide enough, is it not so? You're well protected while you are. I personally pass a few enchantments and spells specifically intended to ensure your safety. But should you ever find yourself in danger, I tell you that I tell all young boys and girls who pass through the world. There comes a time when all of us must make a choice between what is right and what is easy. Here's the you choose correctly. Now then, you're about to enter the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. As we are currently without a Defense Against the Dark Arts professor, the position has proven perilous. Professor Binns, our long-standing and long-deceased history of match professor, will, for your enjoyment, condense hundreds of years of Hogwarts history into a few short hours. Enjoy your stay with us. Oh, and should you happen upon a dragon once here, please alert a member of staff and run. Not necessarily that. Are worth the price of admission. Now, if you are book lovers, you won't find Peeves, nor will you see the Hogwarts Castle ghost in the queue. Where should we point out this rather fascinating? One of the quite hiding from there, which now is absolutely riveting. It's the field of backshots of Hogwarts. Um, perhaps another time. Um, the point is, Professor Bins is very, very boring, which is understandable as he's. Yeah. What one needs to say is he's a ghost. Yeah, well, dead, aren't they? Ghosts? Sort of a requirement. They're muggles, are they? Not morons. I said they were morons. My own parents happen to be models if you recall that. Anyway, we thought you might prefer to come with us and see a game of Quidditch. But to get you there, we have to stick you out the castle. Which is where the money comes in. Then you get to see the early levels of the dark. Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. And the decor there is pretty interesting. Lots of bones. If you know what the ones are in the case, let us know in the comments. And then there's a dragon. Dragons aren't dark creatures and they were not mentioned in the books. As far as being mounted in the classroom. But they were in the movies. You know the pixies drop them down.
And in exiting the castle, there's more merch. None of it will disappoint you. All the different houses are represented, even if you're Slytherin. And then we really enjoyed Hagrid's hut as we wound through the queue of the Flight of the Hippogriff. Like I said before, one of the most pleasing and surprising rides. And that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Harry Potter. Thanks for watching everybody. Please remember to like, subscribe, and find us on Patreon. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you soon.